Hi. My name is Sykes. Hi, Sykes. And I'm a minion. But it's been 30 days since I last kissed up to anyone. I got paid today. Oh, yeah, I know what that's like. No, you don't understand. They laid me off. I got one of these. Yeah. That's with you, Billy. Annie, uh, that's my underwear. What? I don't mean I, I wear it or anything. It belongs to a girlfriend of mine. What about Gertie? I strayed. See, Annie, I got lucky with this phone sex girl one night and uh, found one that accepted personal checks. And, uh, well, you see, uh, I don't have a back seat in my truck, so I, I, I used yours. Dean just doesn't want you to tell Gert, so he, he's covering for me. What in the hell are you talking about? Uh, I confessed. The jig is up. The jig is up, Billy. I'm finally trying to tell her the truth here. Uh, I just did. See, I didn't get the reputation for being bad Billy Pratt by accident. Annie, I'm sorry. I got horny. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> oh, boy, that's the third time you beat me, Mike. I guess I owe you another beer. Nah, listen, that's okay. I gotta run. We'll take a rain check on that one, huh? Oh, oh! Sorry. It's a little old, but... <laughs> no, you're clogging up the chute. I just spent a half hour unclogging. Man, had a hardware store. I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't come in here a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you don't. Because you're a little princess. <laughs> Daddy, buy me a pizza. Daddy, buy me a candy factory. Daddy, make the cast of cats sing happy birthday to me. <laughs> Just admiring your art here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Mike Duffy. How are you? Mike, hi, Larry David. Hey, listen, I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, nice house you have here. Thank you. So, listen, you mind me if I ask you a question? You know, we watched the Seinfeld show, right? You know, but we don't. We didn't watch it when it was on, and now it's on our reruns. And, mm -hmm. and, right. Do you get paid every time they show that? Boy, i never seen these before. Well, they just came in. Part of my springtime yeah. cruise collection. <laughs> Two for $25. Oh, I'll take these, yeah. All right. Hey. Remember this raincoat that you sold me? Sure. That's the executive. Uh-huh. Do you have any others? I wish. They don't make them anymore. Yeah. Suppose I told you I have 50 in mint condition. You interested? Very interested. Because they're coming in from Florida as we speak. Well, bring them in. So you'll buy them? I don't see what would possibly stop me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's great. I, I was just thinking the other day, you know, how great it'd be if uh, Amco paid me for transmissions that I fixed six years ago. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good how you just did that. Yeah. A little through that to Gerald. He's wet. Uh, he's, he's very good. You told him about the Amco thing? No. Very funny. I work for Amco. Very funny joke. Oh. I work for Amco. Oh, yes. No, no, yes. I'm not kidding. I do. Oh. I... What the hell's going on around here? Fire extinguisher roller chair derby? Okay. How are you guys doing? Ah, uh, pretty sober. <laughs> Interesting. Listen, now, you two wouldn't happen to know anybody or be anybody who has uh, glaucoma or chronic nausea and might be interested in something a little stronger than beer? Smack? <laughs> Take a little step back from there. Coke? Take a big step back. Coke with an aspirin? <laughs> a little forward. Valium? Ludes? Benny's? Ecstasy? Crystal meth? Percodan? Yellow submarines? Uh, hippo tranquilizers? Airplane glue? Banana peel? No, no, stop it. Well, it sounds like a song that was cut from hair. I'm talking about pot. A little louder, please, George. Uh, I don't smoke pot. It makes you hungry and unambitious. Hey, Frank, those four burgers are going to take a while. Uh, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. You should get me through the night. I love beer. This is all for you. Sure is. Mrs. is a yapper. So, you're Murray Goldberg. Yep. Right down at the old furniture store. Had the three kids back at home. I call them morons, but I secretly love them. So you're telling me that you're almost 50 years old. I just look young. Got a bit of a baby face. I'm half Hawaiian. Uh, yeah, I was up late last night, you know, oh. sort of going at this stuff. Uh, well. I, you know, and I gotta say, in the light of day, most of these things are crap. Let's really see. Do. Let's just see. Yeah, well, I got one here with the hot dog thing. You know, I put the hot dog in there just simply. 
Like, like it's the Santa Monica fast pitch and hot dogs now. So fast you're suggesting that we have uniforms of young girls with yeah. big hot it's dogs embroidered across their chest? Yeah. 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 I guess I am. Yeah, I think we got a mixed message here, Mike, but good job. Do you have another one there? Um, nothing that I'm really proud of, but I, I do have um, this one here. You know. uh, sorry, the kids spilled some stuff on there. You know, so that's, that's just Santa Monica. I like that. Fast, it's pretty similar to the one we have now. Similar. Very similar. Is, uh, it's my social life, it's my spiritual life, it's my emotional life, uh, and I believe that the umpire is the lifeblood of the game. I think that's fair to say. Game being the operative word, it, you know, it's all that stuff, but it's really ultimately just a game. No, it's not a game. It's about life. It's, it's more about than more a game, than life. though, too. This, is like a, this, is, this game is like God to me. It's my family, wow. it's my dating life, it's, uh, you know, these girls just mean so, so damn much to me. You know, it's probably bad luck to say that softball is God, you know, I mean, you don't know God's a football fan. Well, I never thought about it that way. Hi. I'm Frank. Frank. <laughs> you know how happy I am to see you here. I was a little worried that once he found a girlfriend, he wouldn't come in here anymore. Oh. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> If, if you're interested, I have a lot of really great single women friends. Oh, great. Well, um, you can tell them I'm the type of guy who still opens a door for a lady. Oh, that's very sweet. What do you do, Frank? I'm a doorman. <laughs> hey, Jack, uh, how about some TV here, huh? And uh, listen, they really got to like sports, too. I don't mean just football, baseball, and basketball. I mean anything on ESPN. Well, there's a very good friend of mine at the gym. Hey, shut up. Uh, this is the Black & Decker Lumberjack over. However, there is one tradition that uh, I particularly enjoy, and... Um, Please join me. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, the Lord, of these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come on, let's break bread, huh? May I start with my salad now? Oh, sure, yeah. 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 It's okay, to, he said it's okay to start the salad, everybody. Let's break bread, let's break bread. There's one, one, one more thing, one more thing, all right? Here's to friends, huh? Oh, Here's to friends, huh? Yeah. Well, that was a good show, friends. All right, I'm here. Let's, uh, let's get this over with. Okay, uh, well, just uh, follow my lead. Whoa, whoa, don't we need to do some kind of preparation first? Like, uh, get really drunk. <laughs> uh, come on, hey, hey, just, uh, just uh, put your arms around me, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's okay. But if I'm Marge, my breasts are coming out my back. <laughs> ah, forget it. I'm not being any good at this. My mom was right. I'm just a big potato with arms and legs and a head. <laughs> Come on, man, you're not a potato. Well, I'm sure as hell not a dancer. It's no use. Marge will never go for me. Uh, come on, Trigger, don't say that. You just, uh, you just need more practice. Here, come on, let's, uh, let's try it again. Come on. Plus, it was, it was probably mostly my fault anyway. I mean, you know, I'm not really that comfortable dancing with the, you know, woo-hoo! Right, right. What do we we're begin gonna, with? We're going to make a Dagwood sandwich. And a, a Dagwood sandwich uh, means uh, just about everything that you have laying around the house. But, like, are these the don'ts? No, no, these are the definitely the, the do's, you see? This see, right here, this. Yeah, well, you see, the problem with most people is when they diet, they're, they're always hungry, you see? Right. But when you make a sandwich like this, you're never hungry. <laughs> and also what you do is you have all these ingredients in your refrigerator, and maybe you'll open up the refrigerator, and you'll take a little nibble of this or a little nibble of that. Right. Uh, but what we're going to do today is we're going to make a huge, huge sandwich. <laughs> This is so, this is just so different. Absolutely. I'm not laughing at you. I'm no, just, no, no, no. I think I'm giddy with joy to be on this specific diet plan. Sure. <laughs> okay. We make a big sandwich, and okay. if somebody asks you, what did you eat today? You just say, oh, I just had a sandwich. And that's it. That's it. Right. That's the cuisine. Absolutely. Okay. So what do we start with? All right. Now take your, you got just two slices of bread yes, over there. two slices. That's what you did. Oh, well, well, let's see it. I can show you that now yes, if you like, right? Yes, I'd love to see it. Because I know that you can put it right here. Oh.
And you're done. I mean, if you really feel bad about it, here, I'll put some more sprouts on it. Here. Oh, some there we sprouts. Go. There yeah, we are. That yeah. Makes yeah. it healthy right there. Hello? Oh, John, thank you so much. I mean, this is. Definitely, if you eat this, yeah. you're going to say to yourself, oh, I'll have one with you. What the heck? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, you won't be hungry after that. No, no, way. no, no. Thank you, John. We'll be right back with Lacey Chabert. And this is Chris Rock. Hey, Chris Rock. Hey, You know, I can't believe the guy as smart as Sully would forget that he didn't know how to swim. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Put two and two together. What? Sully took his own life. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't you hear what Chuck said he saw him the night before? He looked like death warmed over. He was so depressed. Ah, oh, come on. He was probably a little loaded, right? He was walking along the lakefront. He fell in. That was all. It was an accident. With rocks in his pockets? <laughs> come on. I don't think you want to face the fact that he committed suicide because you yourself are a Catholic. Well, you're a Greek. Greek is not a religion. It's a race. I'm Greek Orthodox, Orthodox. And don't tell me it's like the Catholics, all right? Come on, it's just an offshoot of the Catholic Church. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, the Catholic Church is an offshoot of the Greek Orthodox Church. I don't think so. I think so. In, in the 14th century in Constantinople, we had a bunch of renegades. They went over Rome. Read your books. It's all in there. The Byzantine Empire. Yeah, Ring a bell. Yeah, yeah, you guys just didn't like the way they were pulling the strings in Rome. So what do you do? You start your own church. No, eh? no, no. You guys didn't like the way we were pulling the strings in Constantinople, and you started your own church. Uh, you know, you're, you're just like the Anglicans. You know that? What? The H Henry VIII guy, right? You know, he couldn't divorce his wives. So what does he do? He lops off all their heads, and now you got a religion built on the beliefs of a mass murderer, huh? Oh, eh? uh... Okay, what about the Spanish? Spanish Inquisition. That was necessary. Okay, and the Crusades? Uh, the, the Crusades, that was against the Muslims. And we're still fighting the Muslims. We're not fighting the Muslims, we're fighting the terrorists. Absolutely! <laughs> Sorry, guys, gotta close up. Can we have a sandwich or something? Sorry, everything's locked up. How about an olive? Them too. Who locks up olives? <laughs> Where do you keep your cocktail onions in the safe? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. here's to you, Sully. Yeah. Wherever you are. To Sully. And, uh, to you, Moose. To you, Squirrel. Oh, my God, Al, look at the time. I gotta catch the bus to the ball. Oh, okay. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, unless you want to practice the foxtrot again. Or the tango. Oh, thanks, but, uh, no. See, I think I'm ready to dance with girls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go get them, Trigger. Right. Hey, uh... You want to come? Marge has a girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Hey, you can dance real good with her. She's the same size as me. No, I'm good. We had a tip jar for every ah. time he used a, a four-letter word. We had the team banquet. Uh, he financed it. Oh, the, man. I could. Uh, I, uh, if I had a nickel for every time I said fuck. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, son, but it's got great big nuts! Salt 
empty nuts! Who wants them? Lord Almighty! That looks just like my husband.